It used to be just bare land, but it's starting to look like a real town now. It looks like they're building more and more houses, too. Yeah! Look on that roof over there! That's the master carpenter of the Carpenters Guild! He heard about Arnian and came with all his tools and apprentices to help! He even refused to take money for it! He's so generous! Hmm. Looks like the manly carpenters are out in full force. You could learn a thing or two from them. When faced with a daunting foe, they often betray their comrades and save themselves. They gain more power than they need, and grow overconfident once they have it. This had been my understanding of human nature. Humans are quite interesting. They become distrustful once betrayed. One moment they may slander a friend, and the next be moved to feelings of their hearts may grow more compassionate, or be lost to depravity. Truly puzzling. All of that makes them dangerous. How long until they are drowned by their thirst for power? How long until they betray all those dear to them in their struggle for supremacy? When they stand before a mighty enemy, will they keep their resolve? Do you not believe in them, Sylph? I wished only to convey the delicacy of the situation. Should they ever become too great a nuisance, we need only burn them to the ground. It seems that the conversion to spirit form has not tempered our leader's fiery wrath. Nor has there been any change in the optimism that so characterized you, Undi. And you remain every bit as cautious and careful as you ever were. Has not that fear kept you in constant concern over the catastrophe in the sky? It was all the Entelikea and humans could do to seal it away 1,000 years ago. The humans have said that as spirits we possess the power to defeat it. However... Say no more. Speaking it out loud will only further increase your worry. We are a new power that will form the cornerstone of this world. The Adephagos is nothing. We may possess enough power to defeat the Adephagos once and for all, but all our work will have been for naught if the humans cannot face this threat. Do not forget that it is the mortals who must use our powers against the Adephagos. Did you not place your faith in their hands? As there are no others to whom we can turn, I will entrust them with our final hope. Then be content to stand by and watch over them. Believe in them. I too await the day when I make known my full power. <sighs> Speak, Gnome, if you have something we should know. He says we are left to make one of two choices. Perish along with this world, or entrust our powers to the humans. They may be fragile, but their hearts burn with a determination to live. Do you mean it, Gnome? He says I too share their desire to go on living. That is the life for those who grow old and die. We must live as suits our nature. No. Like them, the oncoming catastrophe could sow the seeds of our obliteration and known. Let us two struggle for as long as we can. Goodbye. Money seems to disappear before you know it. No, it disappears because you use it. 
Sure, but if you only use a little at a time, you don't realize how much you're spending. I guess we've been spending a little too much. What do you mean? We need to spend more! Really? But why? The more gold we spend, the more it comes back to us. And it brings its friends, too. R really How interesting. Huh? Rita, your name's on this money. Exactly! I've been writing my name on our gold so we'll know when it comes back to us. And when it does come back, I bet it'll have doubled at least. So go on, use it! <laughs> what a lovely little fairy tale. Justice, sexuality, Captain Schwan. Doesn't all that fighting ever make you tired, Yuri? Nah, I've got you here to heal me if I get hurt, after all. But getting hurt and getting tired are different. Don't you ever run out of energy? Hmm, I'd say swinging my sword gives me more energy rather than taking it away. You're like an over-energetic kid who runs around until he passes out. Of Course, I've got more energy than a kid, so I can make that much more mischief. Ah, youth. I'm out of breath with just one swing. I wish I could go back to my younger days. Talk about pathetic. Don't worry. Won't be long before you're in the same boat as me, kid. <laughs> I don't think that's too funny, old man. Well, until then, you can just sit and suffer in admiration of my youthful energy. That's the first time I've ever heard of someone suffering in admiration. You know, at first I wasn't comfortable with fighting, but recently I've gotten quite used to it. Oh yeah? Well, you have been fighting a lot, huh? It looks like you're still wasting energy with some unnecessary movements, though. I always try hard to think of what I should do next, but somehow I just can't get things right. Maybe you're thinking too hard? If you fought more on a gut level, your body might respond more fluidly. On a gut level? I see! So I just need to follow my instincts! You think maybe she misunderstood what we were saying? Maybe. But I think she'll figure things out.
place is huge. It really feels like it reaches the sky. And this thing was just sleeping in the ground near Ospio. I can't believe it. That must be a life-absorbing formula expanding around it. It looks that way. This isn't good. It looks like it came together pretty quickly. So there's not much time left. Perfect! People always heave ho with a deadline looming over them. That might be true, but it still puts us in hot water. If it's absorbing life from everyone, that should affect us as well, but... Estelle? The spirits. They've swathed us in their power. So we should be fine as long as the spirit's power is greater than that formula. Then we just need to run right to the top before that changes. That'll exhaust us before we even face the Autophagos. Can't we just get on Ba'ul and fly up to the top? I doubt it would affect Ba'ul, but we probably couldn't take it. You just don't want to climb up. Of course not! Who do you think I am? Sorry, old man, but it looks like we're walking. Yay. We must brace ourselves and press forward. Yeah, don't let your guard down. Who knows what's waiting for us up ahead? Take that! Whoa, what's the occasion? Little impromptu training session? Well, when I think about fighting Duke, I know I gotta be as strong as I can! I like your spirit. <laughs> I'd expect that from Carol, but Yuri brings a twinkle to this old man's eyes to see you training. On second thought, let's call it a day. What? We were just getting started! Never fear! I think I can teach you a thing or two. You can thank me later. <laughs> You're volunteering to help, Raven? You're gonna jinx him. <laughs> now, don't be like that. There's no beating an old man once he finds his stride, you know? Would you spar with me as well, Raven? Hey, well, if you both want to, I can't say no. It'll take more than luck to beat Duke, after all. All right, Carol, no mercy? Right. No mercy! <laughs> Fight! Is fighting really the only option with Duke? Well, if he's in Tarkaron, then I think we'll have to. My mind's already made up! If only we can defeat the Autophagos with the spirits before he completes the formula! Do you think you'll just let that happen? As long as he's sacrificing people to achieve his aims at Tarkaron, we have to stop him. <sighs> What's eating you, Estelle? Are you that conflicted about fighting him? Yes, but we won't win if we go in with doubts. Oh, I don't know. If doubting is part of your nature, you should trust that nature in battle. What? Well said, Judith. Maybe that's the right approach. We're not your typical band of heroes, after all. You do what you can. You take the hits, but you don't lose. Sound about right? I think that the more you fret, the brighter you'll shine, Estelle. You're all so... Thank you. Could all of this be kept underground for so long? The reason so many Blastia were excavated from around Ospio must have been because this was here. 
The ancient Garayo civilization. This is more amazing than anything in a book. Something feels strange. I know this is a weapon, because he's going to use it against the Atafagos. But from the outside, it looked like a city. Did they turn an entire city into a weapon? Maybe they had to sacrifice such a huge city so they could stand a chance against the Atafagos. This place is enormous. So many people must have lived here. And now, one man is holed up in here to destroy every last person. Duke. I'd rather not meet him if we don't have to. That soldier was already a hero in the Great War. Who knows how much stronger he's gotten since. What are you talking about? We'll just kill the Autophagos before we fight Duke. Then Duke won't have a reason to sacrifice humanity! I hope so. The ancient civilization of Garayos. What must the people have been like who lived in an age that produced buildings like this? Well, I'm no expert on their lives, but I have some ideas from the Blastia we've excavated. Except for the Autophagos, from a scientific perspective, their civilization was nearly perfect. Their Blastia would have given them power equal to that of the Entelechea. Oh yeah, otherwise the Entelechea would have wiped them out. It's hard to believe that the people who were so scared of monsters, who locked themselves inside of a barrier, could have been so mighty. People got too much power and destroyed what they built in the process. It's not that uncommon. But there's one part of their legacy we're still paying for. Yep. They left behind the Atafagos for folks who came after them to deal with. Maybe they didn't have a choice, but that doesn't make it right. You take responsibility. We... We'll have to own up to whatever choices we make from now on, too. That's right. If we're gonna make a world without Blastia, we gotta make sure it works. We'll do a proper job with our own hands. Yeah, absolutely. Fight like I'm good. to the very top of Tarkaron! Oh, you're full of vim, Patty. We're gonna need a whole lot of vim to take down that giant Atafagos. Just don't use it all up before we get there, okay? And with the Atafagos gone, it will be the dawn of a new world. One without Blastia. There's nothing to fear. Everyone will be able to move on even without Blastia. I'm sure of it. You saw Yoder and the people from the guilds in Ornian, right? With them in charge, people will learn to live even if there are problems along the way. The possibilities are bigger than a blue whale! I believe that. Even without the Autophagos, there would be no future in sacrificing life after life like Duke did. And I intend to fight at your side to guarantee a better future, Yuri. I'm counting on you. Man, I want to 
us some more. I don't care what rock you crawled out from. Bring it! Come on, Wind! Cover me, would ya? I'll protect you! There's no way we're gonna lose. This one's pretty tough. Do you want to run away? Top, 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 top
There's no way we're gonna lose. Keep your eyes on my sword. Like I'm gonna die, huh? Come on, all right. Knock him around and cut him down. As your edge, all my heart. Come on, win. I guess I can fight. <laughs> 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 
There's no way we're gonna lose. I'm even struck. This looks like... Ooh, now's our chance. It's nothing personal.
Strong. Get ready for anything.
We're so high. I wonder how much farther we'll have to climb. Yes, I've never even flown this high with Baul. I'm tired of everyone saying hi. That word is forbidden from now on. But this really is the weapon that can destroy the Autophagos. <clears throat> the Garayo civilization was even greater than I thought. But we're the ones who have to beat the Autophagos! Yeah, we'll be in for trouble if we leave things up to Duke. Let's hurry. Did people really live in this place? I don't know where we're supposed to go next. It's like the place is made to confuse us. It was probably built according to a plan at first, but after all sorts of little improvements, it ended up being the tangled city that it is. Isn't it strange that such an advanced civilization would have such haphazard planning? Maybe they were so advanced that the plans couldn't keep up with the rate of progress. It could be that technology even a few years old became obsolete, so plans were constantly changed. There's no use making guesses about what happened to a lost civilization. Let's keep going. You're not interested in figuring out how that lost civilization kept from getting lost? We men will make a path. That's right! Oh, please. So go ahead, lead the way.
Like I'm gonna die, huh?
This one's pretty tough. Show no corner. Victory calls, and I come. As you will. Yep. Thank you. 